So yeah, this is going to be a very big gift call call. Because I think Nintendo Switch 2, they're going to do everything they can to get rid of emulation on the Switch 2. So people can't play games for free. Okay. You will never be able to have a warm and tan as a Switch 2 will not be moddable or emulatable. Uh, yeah, how do you feel about the first of all, this one? This isn't too surprising, Nintendo Switch, you know, because Nintendo Switch has been cracking down. Even if, even like funny mods like Sonic and Mario Wonder, apparently we can't do that to Nintendo games. We have to keep it the normal way. Ugh, sounds, sounds boring. So, yes, yeah, so they don't want you to play as Sonic and Mario Bros. Wonder, even though it'll be, it's pretty funny. But, no, 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 no. So, unfortunately, one day, I, if, they, if there's a, ma- a game I want to mod on the Switch 2, like if I want to add Sonic to, let's say, Mario Wonder 2, well, you won't be able to do it. That's the sad thing. But the whole thing is really about emulation and playing games for free. So, emulation used to be, hey, let's preserve these old games so people can play them, you know, regardless, you know, if, because they're discontinued. You can't play them anymore. They're discontinued. Because if, if you can't buy something anymore, then stealing it, then piracy is not theft. That's basically what it is. If something isn't ownable anymore, if you can't buy it, you know, anymore, or you can't play it anymore, or if it's inaccessible, then yes. You know, that's the only way, that emulation is the only way you can play this game. You know, kind of like Forza Horizon 4, you can only play that game very soon through emulation, because the game will be discontinued and delisted. Because buying isn't owning in modern gaming, (laughs) definitely, 100%. But, you know... What they're trying to do is to prevent people from day one playing the game for free. That's what I've been complaining about the whole time. Saying that, you know, these people, instead of actually buying the game and supporting Nintendo, they would rather, you know, pirate the game and play the game for free. Okay? And that has always been a big problem because, like, for example, something like people might have found your door. These people constantly whine and complain. About, oh, why don't we get no Paper Mario games like this game anymore? But then these people will just go out of the way and just pirate the game anyways, okay? But then you wind up there's no Paper Mario game. And I'll say, hey, you pirated the game. It's your fault. You sort of pirated the game to begin with. And I think there's be a difference between emulation and piracy, okay? You know, piracy is, you know, buying a game for... It's, getting a game, it's not buying a game and playing the game for free on, like, Steam Deck or something else. And, of course, Nintendo's not the only company that's cracking down on this, obviously. Sega, Konami, Capcom, all of the big AAA game developers are against piracy, okay? This isn't a soccer whatsoever, okay? Because they want you to buy their games. It's just that simple. It's, you know... And it'll be like, how dare you support something that's so evil, or something like that. How dare you support, you know, capitalism and money and greed, or, and yeah. But, if you really don't want to play, if you don't really, if you really, really don't want to if you really, like, it really shows you that FOMO, you know, the fear of missing out. These people are so worried about that, that instead of, you know, instead of, you know, we we'll actually boycott the game and not play it, they would rather, you know, we'll play it for free, and, and of course, it is pretty easy if you if, if people keep telling you, oh have you seen this game movie or have you played this game or and you're like no I don't want and then they and basically I think a lot of piracy is because of FOMO because unless and unless and stuff like Fortnite which you can get for free like for example a while ago like a few years ago I would you know basically watch some movies for free because I didn't want to be on the fear of missing out on something because it's only on a streaming service that I didn't want to get because I don't want to pay. $20 a month for a streaming service that would only watch like one or two movies on. Yeah, you know, the fear of missing out is, of course, a very, kind of a, you know, new thing, but it is, you know, basically it has always existed in humanity. But especially with pop culture, it has basically become pretty bad. You know, of course, I get people are, people go play Tears of the Camp for free, even though they don't want to, because they don't want to get money, money to Nintendo. Because they don't want to feel, have the feel of missing out on Tears of the Kingdom. Which is pretty ironic because these guys hate Tears of the Kingdom so much. But then they play it for free and, it's, and then say, Oh, I wish I played Tears of the Kingdom. Or something like that. But yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.